Hello, I'm Johora Singaporeensis, a Singapore freshwater crab, but you can call me Joe. I'm so small, I doubt you've seen me, but I bet you've seen my big blue buddy, the ocean. In this video, I want to talk about fish and what happens when we overfish. You've probably heard people say, don't worry, there's plenty more fish in the sea. And yes, there are around 3.5 trillion of them. That's a lot of fish. The problem is that at least 2.8 billion wild fish are caught every year. About a third of the world's fish are overfished, leading to a rapid global decline in fish stocks. In simple terms, we are fishing faster than fish can reproduce. If this fishing frenzy continues, scientists predict that there definitely won't be plenty more fish in the sea. Why is this happening? The truth is that humans simply love seafood. Seafood is the main source of protein for three out of every seven people on the planet. It's more popular than other animal proteins like beef, pork or chicken. Singaporeans alone consume an average of 22 kilograms of seafood each year, more than the global average of 20 kilograms. But if we run out of fish, it won't only have an impact on our dinner tables, it will also have huge economic, ecological and environmental impacts. Our passion for seafood creates jobs and income for millions of people all over the planet. This is especially important for the economy of coastal communities and people working in related industries. Catching enough seafood to meet this massive demand means some people are resorting to unsustainable fishing methods and using more than a few extra fishing rods. Take tuna, for example, which is the most consumed fish in the world. To scoop up as much tuna as possible, some big industrial fishing fleets use nets up to 2,000 meters long and 200 meters deep. The trouble is that these huge nets don't just trap tuna. Lots of other marine creatures are accidentally caught too, collectively called bycatch. They are thrown back into the sea either because they're unwanted, unsaleable, or not allowed to be caught. Sadly, they often suffer serious injuries and die. All this means that instead of plenty, there are fewer and fewer fish in the sea. Fewer fish mean fewer sources of protein for people who rely on the sea for food. Fewer fish mean fewer jobs for 800 million people who depend on fishing industries for their livelihoods. Finally, fewer fish could lead to a catastrophic collapse of marine ecosystems. If that happens, a big blue buddy won't be able to feed and care for us or help fight climate change. But all this doesn't mean that eating tuna is always bad. Organizations such as Conservation International are seeking better ways to meet your seafood demands. They're managing sustainable fisheries and working with governments and communities to monitor and protect important marine areas from unsustainable and illegal fishing. You can help too by only eating what you really need by finding out where your seafood comes from and making sure it's from a sustainable source and not on a list of endangered species. A little effort will go a long way to making sure there will always be plenty more fish in the sea.